Well, some people call small claims court the greatest access to justice the state has to offer. No money amount is too small, and thousands of people file a claim every single year. Well, tonight, our Heather Hamill takes a look at this piece of the justice system and explains the new changes that are making it even easier. All rise. Judge it's the only place in New Hampshire that people can bring any grievance they have and fight for what they believe is rightfully theirs. The dollar amount can't be over $7,500, but it can be as little as 25 bucks. I happen to believe that small claims uh, represent true access to justice. From unpaid auto repair or construction bills to landlord troubles, it's typically a system that comes without lawyers, average people representing themselves, and it's the most popular civil filing with about 15,000 cases a year across the state's 32 court locations, but it isn't always easy. This particular person I've been chasing for about a year and a half now. And she defaults and does a motion. We come back and does a, you know, it's a, it's a long, drawn out process. It can be a hassle. John Caragianis was at Manchester Circuit Court when we caught up with him, saying his ex girlfriend owes him $2,400. He says he gave her the money to cover her bills, but believes she was using it for something else and says she isn't showing up in court. The defendant uh, just doesn't want to pay, and what are you going to do? I mean, you got to go through a process. You can take him back and have him arrested and take him back. I thought that. That I would go to the court case and then that would be that. It was, you know, win or lose. You either have to pay or not pay. Um, and now I'm finding that there's a few more steps. Stephanie Driscoll is still waiting despite her win in small claims. She owns a small public relations firm and never received payment for the work she did for one customer. He does receive the paper saying that you're obligated to pay within 30 days, but then. It wasn't like anyone in the court system was following up with him saying, hey, it's been 30 days, um, you haven't paid. That was my obligation to then notify the court that he hadn't paid within the time frame. Not always smooth sailing, but the courts are trying to simplify as much as they can. People can now e-file in five circuits, and by December 12th, the whole state will be online. We get filings from people now filed at 8.30 at night or uh, on the weekend at all times of the day because they can do it from the comfort of their home. Forty percent of cases get no response, and it ends there. Parties are urged to talk it out first, and even if it makes it to court, they are still allowed to sit down with a mediator before taking the next step. But if one party doesn't show, it can prolong the case, like it has for John. But it's still a fight that he's not willing to give up. I'm not going to drop it, no. It's a, it's a matter of principle now, so I'm not going to drop it, no, not at all. Judge Kelly says that's what it comes down to for many people, a quest to right a wrong that has been done against them. Heather Hamill, WMUR, News 9.